Hello and welcome to my review of the Nemo Dragonfly One Person Tent. Uh, I've been using this tent for about a month now uh, on my bikepacking trip of the Great Divide mountain bike route. So I feel pretty comfortable giving you a review after a, a month of use. Uh, I'll give you a quick walk around along with some stats that Nemo advertises for the tent and then give you a little tour of it and my opinions of it. Now, Nemo advertises the total pack weight of the tent to be 2 pounds 13 ounces with everything you see here. The tent, the rainfly, 8 tent stakes, some guy line, a few patches, and the stuff sack as well. Uh, minimum trail weight is 2 pounds 1 ounce. I believe Nemo calculates that to be the tent, 3 tent stakes, and the rainfly itself. It does not come with a footprint. Uh, what I did, I just made a, uh, a Tyvek footprint myself. Floor dimensions are 88, 88 inches long by 35 inches at the head and 32 inches at the foot. Uh, vestibule area is 10 square feet. Now I'll give you a quick walk around of the tent with the rain fly off of it. Uh, I have used it in some rainy conditions and have not had any issues with it leaking water. Uh, I have read that a few people have had issues with that, but and I think it's probably the, the craftsmanship of whoever happened to be working on that particular tent that day. So, kind of lucky in that regard. It also sheds wind very well. Uh, what helps is to put this toe end into the headwind so that it sheds the wind a lot easier. Now before I show you the inside of the tent, I would like to show you a little something that uh, kind of intrigues me and bothers me a little bit. You see these straps that hold the doors open? This loop here that's on the outside of the rain fly, it barely fits this plastic clip here. And good luck trying to get that on there with uh, gloves on. Even one-handed you can't really do it. You've got to have both hands. Uh, what I like to do is be able to sit inside the tent after I've taken my shoes off and everything, reach out with one hand, undo this, and zip it up. But it's just not possible with one hand. you got to have two hands to do it. But with that in mind, check out the tent door itself. The strap on the tent door is actually large enough. There we go is actually large enough so that you can do it with one hand. I'm not sure why Nemo did that, but it, uh, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, that you can do with one hand pretty easily. That strap's pretty large. This one on the other hand barely fits the plastic clip through there. I don't know why Nemo did that, but I think it's something they need to address. Also, uh, Another person stated in their reviews that the straps on the outside of the rain fly here are for guy lines. That, in fact, is not what they are for. Nemo designed this so that you can pull this tent stake out here, roll this door up, and use this just like you see here. Like it, but again, these need to be a bit larger so that you can actually do it with one hand. Uh, now to the inside of the tent. This is my Big Agnes AXL sleeping pad. I'm about 5'10". The tent fits me just fine. Uh, I'm able to store a little bit of gear in here as well. One thing I do like is this pocket up here where I can hang... Uh, like dirty clothes or clothes for drying, anything like that. Also, there is a diffusing, right, a diffusing material here. You can put uh, your headlamp in here and it kind of diffuses the light everywhere so it's not so bright. Uh, other than that, it's a, it's a nice tent. Now I wanted it because it's truly freestanding, but to get all of the floor space, you have to stake it out. I had a Kelty Gunnison two-person tent that was just a pig. It weighed five pounds, so I wasn't going to bring it on this trip. But that tent, I believe, to be truly freestanding because 
even without staking it out, you get the advantages of using all of the floor space without having to stake it down. Uh, this one, you have to stake it down to take advantage of all of that floor space. A little frustrating, but something I can deal with, I guess. Uh, again, if you're into bike packing, check out my other videos. Currently on the Great Divide mountain bike route. After that, who knows, hopefully the rest of the world. Cheers.